A tragic scene on a freeway in Culver City. A baby and young girl found hurt along the 405, and sadly, that infant died. Investigators are trying to find out how those children ended up there and know, and they want to know who's responsible. KCAL News reporter Luz Delia Caballero live in Culver City with more on this heartbreaking investigation. Luz Delia. You know, there are many unknowns here. I mean, the first question that comes to mind is where are the parents? How did those children even get on the freeway to begin with? And where did their injuries even come from? The tragic scene unfolding in the darkness of the early Monday morning commute on the 405. Just after 4.30 a.m., officers began responding to the 405 northbound lanes at Sentinella Avenue after getting multiple 911 calls about a medical emergency on the freeway involving two children. When officers responded to the scene along with Culver City Fire Department personnel, they came upon two children. Um, Females, there was one that was an infant, one that was approximately nine years of age. The California Highway Patrol says the baby died at the scene, and another child, a nine year old girl, was taken to the hospital. As far as the type of injuries, there's some sort of trauma going on with these injuries. However, there's so many different things that could have happened to how that you know took place on the freeway it's very bizarre like you said right if you know how, how did this trauma occur witnesses reported seeing a dark sedan on scene at the time of the incident but when chp officers arrived the car was already gone so everything's still under investigation of as to how they got there in the first place you know it's a very unusual incident how they can just appear there now the chp is asking for the public's help to bring justice to these children justice for the infant justice for the kid And we're told that nine-year-old little girl is expected to be okay. In the meantime, the CHP is asking anyone with any information or even dash cam footage to please come forward. You can go ahead and call them at their crimes unit number at 323-644-9550. And if you go ahead and call after hours, you're going to want to call 323-259-3200. Reporting live in Culver City, Luz Delia Caballero, KCAL News. All right, Luz Delia, thank you. Let's get to some breaking news right now. Assignment editor Mike Rogers is at the desk. And Mike, you just learned of a connection between that story Luz Delia just reported and another deadly incident? Yeah, that's right, Juan. We've been working on this for quite some time. We can now connect the dots here. Earlier this morning, before Luz Delia's incident, there was a homicide in Woodland Hills in which we're told a woman stabbed a man that we are told are related to each other in one way or another. I want to show you video from that scene. The LAPD lieutenant that is handling this, the Valley Operations Valley Bureau homicide lieutenant, tells me that the woman that is uh, suspected in this killing is also suspected in the incident on the 405 freeway where Luz Delia just was involving that young child uh, and the infant there. So we can now report to you from LAPD that the suspect is connected to both this Woodland Hills homicide and the incident along the 405 freeway. This all happened around three o'clock this morning when neighbors heard arguing between the man and the woman. It drew enough suspicion that a neighbor went to check and see what was going on when they opened the door, found that the man was laying there dead. You can see damage to the gate here. It appears perhaps a car drove through that gate after that. And again, we can now, uh, and I'm just getting an update from our Jeff Nguyen, who is also working this story uh, from our sources, saying earlier this morning, the woman stabbed her husband to death after a fight. She then took the two kids in the car at some point, uh, and the infant died there along the 405 freeway uh, before this all continued on. So we're still working all the pieces of this story, Juan, but we can now yeah. tell you that at least those two incidents are connected. All right, Mike, keep us posted on this one. Thank you so much.